Hi, welcome back. So we're gonna continue with our chicken schnitzel here. You're gonna dip it in your flour. And what you wanna do is you have a dry hand and you have a wet hand. So for me, my dry hand is my right hand. <laughs> and my wet hand is my left hand. And then you're gonna take that, you're gonna put in this egg wash here, which is just three or four eggs beaten, depending on how many schnitzels you're gonna do. You're gonna take that out. And then you have your breadcrumbs here, and I did a, bread, a combination of breadcrumbs and crackers. And uh, I did season it. Are you switching hands? You didn't switch hands. I'm trying, I keep forgetting. That's not how you did it before. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep forgetting. And then you're gonna dip it in the breadcrumbs and the crackers. And then from here we're gonna place it here. So until all of our schnitzels are done, we're gonna have them all coated. And then once they're all coated, then we're gonna start frying them. Hey look, this one looks like something. What? I don't know, like a fat poodle. A fat poodle. Here. And then also what I did, I filleted the chicken breasts and beat them with a rubber mallet so that they're about quarter inch to three quarter inch and then they will cook more evenly and you'll get that nice crispy tender schnitzel. I think I need more of this piece. Okay, I'll make more. Hi, welcome back. So now we're going to start uh, pan frying our chicken schnitzel here. We've got two pans going. So try to put the bigger ones in here. And then gently, just want to gently put it in there. And we're going to do three to four minutes each side or until the internal temperature is 165. Through the magic of internet, we have a few over here that are already done, so you can kind of see what it looks like. This one just got a little bit extra flavored. Right here you have here. Chicken schnitzel, it's a half a chicken breast. And uh, the temperature reads above 165. And then we're just gonna let this rest so that the juices can soak back in to the meat. And that way, when it's cut, it's nice and moist. This is a little sample one, this is for soybean. Mm -hmm. 